Yo, what's going on, you savages? The boy John or Carnage here, and today I'm going to be bringing you guys another Grand Theft Auto San Andreas modding tutorial. Now, this modding tutorial is going to be showing you guys how to install or mod in custom vehicles into your San Andreas. Now, these vehicles can be really anything as far as cars go. The motorcycles and everything else might be a little bit different as most of the motorcycle modding is basically just changing the skins and you don't need to do any other IDs or anything. So, <clears throat> yeah, this is basically uh, for most vehicles at least, I would say. And in most downloads for vehicles, you have a tut text tutorial anyway, so that doesn't really matter. Um, so, yeah, this tutorial is going to be showing you guys how to install custom vehicles and everything. So, um, what I'm going to be doing is maybe installing a couple um, GTA 5 vehicles. Now you can go to this website. I guess I'll put it in the description if you guys really want it. And it probably has like basically every car in GTA 5. Or even on this website, I'm sure there's tons of other vehicles you can download or other mods from Zentornos to police cars to probably like Zentorno police cars if you look hard enough. So, yeah, I'm going to go ahead and just download this Insurgent to make it easy, um, just a cool vehicle. Hopefully, since this is a very, I would say, um, advanced vehicle, as in, like, it being made and stuff, hopefully I don't mess up on it and have to do anything extra, like, super special or anything, but I'm going to go ahead and start this download, and I will see you guys when I'm finished with this download. Alright, the file is done downloading. I'm gonna go ahead and drag it on my desktop. Yes, I know I have a lot of just random shit on my desktop, which I'm sure you guys know I'm not gonna be using this PC much longer, so I don't really care. So, <clears throat> yeah, once you have your file, or your zip file of the thing, go ahead and open it up, and go ahead and find your .txd or .dxt or something, and .dff folder, which... This had, like, the pickup and the insurgent, so, the standard, and the van, I guess? SWAT van, I guess this is a SWAT van, I don't know what the hell this is. So, SWAT van, DFF, DFF, um, I'll go ahead and do the pickup, so I'm gonna drag the DFF, so you need to drag these to your desktop, so the DFF and the TXD. So, if you couldn't tell what that was, this is the van version of the Insurgent, which I guess is the original, and then the pickup has, like, the other extra stuff on it, I'm guessing. So, those are the two variants of that, and here is the other file that you need. So, you need these two files, and once you have them on your desktop, you don't, r actually, you do still need this. So just keep this up. Go ahead and install a program called IMG Tool. It's really simple. There will be a link in the description as well. This doesn't really... Um, have anything super crazy. I'm sure there's a couple other ones that you can do to use this as well um, to actually do the same purpose. So go ahead and launch it up. Once you download it, you'll just get these two files, the README and the IMG tool.exe. And once you load it up, it'll bring you this. So <clears throat> once you have that loaded up, open up your game directory, which I have a lot of just stuff I don't really need right now. Um, I'm just going to exit out of all of it, actually, because I'll just reopen this, I guess. Yeah, I'll just reopen that. So, <clears throat> from here, go go ahead and open up your game directory, which I have mine right here, and go to Models, and drag the GTA 3 onto your desktop. Go ahead and replace the one I already have there. So, once this is on your desktop, Go to File and Open in the IMG tool. Select the GTA 3. And go ahead and open it up. And once it opens up, it'll show you all the different files that were within this, or all the models and um, visual things, if you get what I mean. And I have mine in Tools, or Sort, into Name, so it's alphabetical order, so I can find it easy. And from here is where you need to find your SWAT van or whatever, so these are the two um, names of the vehicles that you're going to be changing. So when you mod a vehicle in, you don't exactly add it to the files, is what you do to make it, it'd be way too difficult for you to actually 
add a new vehicle to the coding and instead uh, what you do is you change the IDs and textures and everything of a vehicle that's already in the game so I'm gonna go ahead and find the SWAT van which is obviously already in the game coding because you have to find it inside the files so if I can find the SWAT van hopefully I'll be able to find it fairly easily I'm gonna try to find it here as you see there is a lot of files here so it might take you a little bit to find it alright so I am blind I think SW underscore so the next would be SWA so a SWAT van if it'll go geez there's a lot of SW shit come on Alright, SWAT van. There you go. SWAT van dot DFF and SWAT van dot TXD right here. So select one of them. I'm going to do DFF first. Uh, select it and right click it and click replace. And go down and select DFF. So that's different. I'm going to have to find anything. SWAT van dot DFF. <coughs> and it'll take a second to completely replace that and um, off the bat you'll be able to tell that the size of the file will be much larger than any other one as this is a hundred and seventeen hundred uh, my bad seventeen hundred kilobytes while the others are an average size so it goes from twelve kilobytes I'm gonna click and replace the txd file now So twelve kilobytes to about a megabyte so yeah <coughs> once these two are replaced we go into the next step so once you replace those two files go ahead and exit out and re-inject the GTA 3 back into your directory your game directory that you have by the way this doesn't work with non steam if you couldn't if you couldn't already tell that by the title but yeah go ahead and just drag this or you can copy and paste it if you plan on doing any other modding later so I'm going to go ahead and do that because I do plan on some doing some more stuff later. So I'm just going to copy and paste it into the, your directory under the models. <coughs> so I am going to skip until that. Alright, so I have the GTA 3 back into my models folder in the game directory. Now you're going to want to go ahead and open up your um, file that you downloaded for your weapon. And you're going to look for the readme.txt or whatever it should be called. It should be called readme.txt, but <clears throat> if it's not, it should be something like that. Um, or a f look for a text file, and it will have things like this, like these IDs, etc. So, go down until you see your first one, which in this case is the place the string and the uh, handling dots. Wait, no, what? Models GTA. I'm guessing this is the handling? Is this the handling? Or is this the car coals? So this is a really weird text document, so it doesn't say what the first one is. It's pretty obvious that it says that this is the directory you need to go to, and this is what you need to replace in it. Which, that's not true. This is not in the IMG thing. Um, or is it? I'm pretty sure it isn't. Yeah, it's not. So... This is like a bunch of baloney here. Don't listen to this. So I'm just gonna like, don't listen to that. Yeah, uh, you're gonna wanna go to the carcoles. Carcoles. So go open up your directory. Go back and go to data instead of models and double click carcoles. I'm gonna look like an idiot if I'm actually not saying this right. But um, yeah, go to carcoles, carcoles, and. Scroll down until you see this line here about. So, place the string SWAT van in all caps and then it goes down. Or not. Carcoles that dat. Here's the carcoles that dat. I don't know what the hell that was. Don't even listen to that. That's a different thing. So, car just go by for the most part what it says because I'm doing drugs. So, carcoles dot dat. Look for it. This one is in alphabetical order. The other ones aren't. Look for the carcoles dot dat wherever it tells you to go. And it's doing drugs again. This is Carcoles.dat. This one is really weird compared to all the other ones. 
This is a horrible decision for me to try to do this one because I'm trying to do a tutorial and everyone's going to think I don't know what the hell I'm doing. Which I think I do at least. So, Karkles, look for the SWAT van, which is the vehicle we're doing. I was looking for Karkles in this thing. Um, SWAT van 1 1, which that's just what it says. And yeah, select SWAT van. So, go ahead and select the whole thing. Control C or right click and copy. And go select the SWAT van here and do Control V. So, it replaces the IDs there. So, in this one, it's really simple. All you need to do is paste it there and no other editing to it. So, file and save. And you're done with that one. So, you need to do that with similarly uh, the same fashion with the other two or three files that you need to change the IDs in. So, in this case, I'm going to go to the uh, directory again and go to the next one, which is the handling.cfg, and open this one and look for your SWAT van, which this one is not in alphabetical order, so it might take you a little bit longer to find your vehicle. So I'm going to try to find without skipping here. So I'm just going to scroll through until I find it. Alright, I might need to do a cut here. Let me just go through one more time. Uh, hopefully, it's actually called SWAT van and it doesn't say police or anything. Because uh, well, it should say SWAT van. Because if it's the same coding for everything else, it should be that in this. So one more time, I'm gonna scroll through this. You guys probably already saw me miss it, but um, yeah. All right, so I'll just uh. See so you guys when I find the SWAT van in this file. By the way, if you guys are wondering <clears throat> how to actually get this game, which I'm sure a lot of you guys already have it, but you can download the version or the same directory I have right now really easily in like 5 10 minutes if you look at the link in the description, and that will be there along with a tutorial on how to install Clio 4 mods for this game or how to install a easy mod menu uh, for this game as well. Alright, so I found the SWAT van. It was actually right below the police, which I was talking about. It, I was talking about it when I saw the police. So, that, that was a dirt move on my part. So, you can see the all caps here. So, you can see that it is this one here SWAT van. Uh, yeah, it's handling. It's just, it says the uh, directory place you're supposed to go, like b below this, which is weird because I've never seen it below it. I've only seen it above it. So,. That's some booty cheeks. So select it all the way to the end. This one's a little bit longer. Select it all the way to the end. And control C or copy it. I'm going to go back to the end here. So you can see. Select it all the way to the end. Control C. Find your SWAT van inside of this. I recommend going a little bit slower while you're uh, selecting this one so you don't mess up and do shit. So control V. And this one is a little bit more tricky, I think. Wait, is this the one that's really tricky? Uh, yeah, it is. So, as you can see, it completely got out of line with all the IDs here. So, <clears throat> the way I just changed the stairs. SWAT van. Oh, God. No. This is not good. What am I doing? Where did I get... Huh? Oh, wait, no. Stairs is messed up, too. What the hell is stairs? I don't even know what I just did. Anyway, SWAT van. You can see it's out of place. So... Just delete these spaces that are before and after it and try to line it back up with all of these things. So just use the backspace and space to line everything back up. And <clears throat> sometimes this might be a little bit tricky if they have negatives instead of the normal thing. Which in this case, this one has a negative and everything's lined up here. So what I recommend doing if it's a negative but you want to line it up with all the other negatives in the same line but you don't want to connect them just do put a little back on one space before it so it's in one and then you can line this one up if that makes any sense so make sure none of these ideas actually touch you always have to be at least one space one space one space between so I just don't know what the hell I just did 
uh, and it's a 0 0.3 <coughs> so I'm going to just line everything up like so uh, if you need help of course just look at all the other IDs and try to line them up appropriately match to the other ones in the same <coughs> type of fashion if you get what I'm trying to say so this is 0 0.5 and this one might look a little bit out of place, and just scroll around, I suppose, until you see where it would match, which I don't actually see. All these are just fives and fours. Um, huh. So this is five, one, six, five. So, <clears throat> here, uh, you might mess up a little bit, because I really need to focus on this part. So, I'm going to pause really quick to see uh, what actually went wrong. Alright, so my apologies if you guys are doing this step by step, because I'm actually derping out right now. I forgot to line up the 0, 0.0 there, so that's why this negative looked really out of place. And now I can align everything back up appropriately, blah, blah, blah. Can't speak. So, this 5, that's why this 5 looks so out of place, because it was out of place. So... Let's ba uh, backspace everything back, and now everything is falling into place like it should. Space there. Everything's going good. I went a little bit too fast, so I think that's why I messed up there. Because, you know, trying to do the tutorial, trying to act like that, but I know what the fuck I'm doing. Which, obviously, I guess I don't. So... 0, 0.0 space back space space that up and back these up <coughs> I could cut this but just so you know I'm not doing anything fishy I'm gonna do this all legit space 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 And some more spaces. Um, I don't believe I need to do any ones. All this is ones. So if you get, if you mess up at the end of this, if you see all these are ones, well actually no, there's a two there. Um, I'm just gonna leave that how it is. I don't know though. Yeah, this might be a little bit tricky. I'll just um, I'm gonna line that up like this. Because there's more digits in this way here than there is, like, skip one here and then continue back here. So I'm just going to go with my gut feeling there and file and save once you space out and put everything back there. Which I really wish you didn't need to do that, but you do. So, <coughs> yeah. So, yeah. Alright, so on to the next one. Now this one right here, which I'm going to go to the vehicles actually first, just so I can get that out the way before I get to the tricky one. So, 601, here's the string in vehicles.ide. Here's the thing you need to replace the SWAT van in here with, which I guess I need to find SWAT van. Um... Hopefully I'm going to be able to find this really quickly. Uh, SWAT van, there you go, boys. Alright, <clears throat> so control V, replace that SWAT van there. So that was another easy one. That you don't need to do any uh, spacing or anything. So SWAT van changed it file save now onto one that I've never actually added to something if that doesn't make any sense uh, <clears throat> I'll show you what I mean so this is the thing here this is what we're looking at so it says add SWAT van in string hashtag I'm guessing that means put it here um, pop cycle group beach folk now I've tried to do this once but it was really confusing and I couldn't find this uh, little Thing it said inside the uh, thing, which is this. 
Karg RP, I guess. So I couldn't find this as of the one that I was looking for. It was like completely different. It didn't. It said that it was. It looked in the manner of this, but it said something else. It said like something something here, and it wasn't <coughs> like. Uh, I lost it. It wasn't like this beach folk, which I know beach folk is in here because I saw it earlier. Um, so once you open here, I guess you, I guess this isn't a mandatory thing as I've had never done it, but I've seen it in all of my things. So hashtag um, beach folk as you can see here. So I would think that SWAT van's already here because this is already a naturally coded thing. So, I don't know, I'm going to go ahead and just leave this one out, because I don't know. I'm going to search around until I can see SWAT van in this. Slam van. So, I'm not sure, I'm just not going to mess with that one, because I've never really officially done it myself, so I don't think it'd be that uh, important. So, I'm just going to go back. So... Once you change all the IDs, which are the vehicles.ide, the handling.cfg, the carcoles.dat, and I guess this cargrp.dat thing isn't really important as I've never done it, and I don't know, if, it, if this tutorial goes to shit and it doesn't actually work, I'll go back and change this and then, you know, continue and then, you know. So, unless it only has something to do with, like, bigger vehicles, which I installed a Batmobile, so I don't know how this could be only with bigger vehicles, but anyway. Once you've done those things, go ahead and start up the game. So run it. I'm going to minimize everything here. Okay, and I'll see you guys when I am in the game. And I do actually recommend that you install a mod menu with Clio 4. I recommend the cheat menu v3 so you can easily spawn in your vehicle that you changed or modded. And yeah, just make everything lots easier. Alright, so I'm in the game. And once you're in the game, just going forward, I guess, if you're using a mod menu, which I highly recommend it, because depending on what vehicle you actually change, it probably doesn't naturally spawn on the street or whatever. And my mouse isn't quite working. Um. In the game. So I hope I hope I don't I didn't accidentally d delete the uh, driver for that. So hold on. All right. So I'm not sure why my mouse isn't quite working in game. Um, I guess I will attempt, oh, because it's in Joypad, I don't know why it's in Joypad. Uh, so there you go, now it's working. So, I'm going to do Control c to open the menu, I'm going to spawn the vehicle, which I'm guessing mine would e either be in public service, because it is a SWAT van, or it would be in, um... Industrial, maybe? Might take you a second to search around for your, uh, thing. Um. So I'll go ahead and look for it. It, I just, shit. Well, I'll go ahead and look f All right, so it, I think it was actually in the police thing, and I think it's just called SWAT. So, yeah, there you go. Called in the SWAT, just SWAT, it wasn't actually called SWAT van in game. But here is the insurgent from GTA 5 in San Andreas. I'm really glad this worked, and I didn't actually just like break everything. So, um, well, I guess it counts as. Well, that's great, I'm just shooting water out of this thing, so this doubles as a fire truck. So, I'm just gonna turn the cops off really quick. Um, never wanted. So, yeah, I hope this 20 minutes of you listening to me rant, and hopefully I guess doing this, uh, actually paid off. So, since this is here, I'm going to show you some of the other vehicles that I have modded in. Now, one of these was actually different. I didn't actually use this method, but all the others were, such as the... I'm going to show you one that actually went wrong for me. Um, <clears throat> I'm going to turn on something real quick ghost town so all the cars would go away um if they'll go away so i'm gonna spawn in some others such as <coughs> um sports cars the cheetah is one 
I don't remember which vehicle this actually is, but there's this one, and these vehicles are actually really fast as well. And I don't think that she actually worked, but anyway, this, this car is actually a lot faster than most cars in this game as well. So that's one thing for it. Uh, I'm going to get out the vehicle, and it just spawned me all the way over here. Alright, so that's good. So, Control C, I'm going to spawn in a couple more. So, uh, sedans. The Cadro is a. Cadrona, my bad, is a Zentorno. So, you can actually see the Zentorno on the streets if you install the Zentorno, because the Cadro is a popular vehicle that's normally in the game. And my game is glitching again to where all the textures just, like, die for some reason. I don't know why it does this. I think it's when I get in a car and drive way too fast, and the game doesn't actually render the textures fast enough. Um, so, yeah, there's that. I'm going to go ahead and restart my game here. All right, so um, I restart my game so you can actually see stuff now, and hopefully the ghost... Town sheet will actually start to work. So, <clears throat> spawn vehicles. I'm going to show a. Is a Batmobile? Yeah, I'll show you guys the Batmobile. Batmobile is awesome. I don't remember the actual name for this Batmobile though. This isn't the actual Batmobile. It's like the crazy one. Um, that's like AIDS. So sports cars. Bang. Phoenix. Alakazam. So. It is a little bit glitchy on the way you actually get in the car, but other than that, yeah, this thing's pretty cool, too. You can just drive all over things, it's so big, and the back tires are pretty cool, too. And I'm driving on my side, but, <clears throat> yeah, there's the Batmobile, as you can see this thing. I don't know the actual name, as I said, but, uh, and I guess I'll spawn in. I have other ones, some other ones, like the Osiris from GTA V. And I'm going to show you guys a hoverboard, which I think is a cool one. Pizza Boy. Pizza Boy is a hoverboard. This is one of the ones I didn't use the method I just showed you guys. Uh, it was a automatic install thing. No, it wasn't. It was technically the method I just showed you guys, but you didn't need to do any IDs. You just changed some textures. As you can see, you're still sitting on it as if it were a motorcycle. But, yeah, I think this one's a lot of fun to mess around with. I like doing jumps and stuff with this one. And there's also a another one that's a little bit smaller than this one. So it basically just looks like a big pan on the ground. But is the Faggio and it's smaller so it's not as cool. But yeah, this thing, it looks like an actual, uh, I guess, hoverboard. I guess you'd say more like a hoverboard and not a little rocket board like this thing. But... <laughs> I think I'm gonna end this video off. Uh, thank you guys for spending 30 minutes of your life all wasted on this video. If it helped you, hopefully it wasn't that big of a waste of time. But that's about it for this video. And what the hell? Um, <laughs> but I guess that's. Oh god, no. Uh, player cheats. Infinite health before I die, so I'm gonna do this forever. So that's about it for this video. And I guess I will see you guys in my next video. Peace.